We'll use a regular pen tool for these antenna marks. Check out here your color picker. Since we've been messing with it, it doesn't look quite right. Let's give it a stroke and no fill. Click and drag. We're gonna wanna have two of those, so press enter to end that line and do it again. Enter. And let's get an ellipse tool. Remember, we want this to be a perfect circle, so I'm going to hold down shift and click and drag. And we want this one to have a fill, so I'll give it a fill right away. Same thing, shift and drag. And there we have it. I'm going to move that a little bit. That's better. Now we're going to work with these wings. Grab that pen tool again. All right, that's what those look like. Let's select these and let's give them a fill. We're going to give them a kind of a blue colored fill since wings are kind of transparent. Since they're transparent, we probably want to change what's called the opacity. That controls how transparent it is. Let's try somewhere around 50 and see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty good. However, we've got a couple issues here. First, this doesn't really look very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these and right click and send to back. That looks better. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to move this one to the front because I think that this looks funny. Uh, with it looking um, like it's in the front. So it, then I will go to select it first and then I'll go to oh, there we go and then I'll go to arrange and bring forward and that just brings it forward that one so it makes this one look like it's in front of that one.